Breaking news, it's yours truly, Donna Cruz. Just yesterday, there was a major typhoon in the Philippines, known as Typhoon Haiyan. This typhoon is on record one of the most devastating tropical storms in history. Taking 6,000 lives and leaving 2,700 people injured, this typhoon is ranked in Category 5 of all typhoons. In the Philippines, it is currently being called Super Typhoon Haiyan. Luckily, the dark has arrived today and has so far treated 6,529 patients, have purified 500,000 liters of water, have delivered 100,000 kilograms of food, and have cleared 130 kilometers of road. And now to interviewer Kiana Coates Cameron. Thank you, Dominic. This is Kiana Coates Cameron reporting live from the Philippines. I'm here with a victim and survivor of Typhoon Haiyan, which some are calling the most disastrous and devastating natural disaster of this year. Can you tell us your name, honey? Hi, my name is Annalyn. Hi, I'm from Alexis. Annalyn, how old are you? I just turned seven this year. So we heard that your house got destroyed. Can you tell us about that? Yes, my house is totally demolished. It's a good thing my family and I got out in time because we heard the waves coming and were able to evacuate quickly. I'm really glad I didn't lose anyone in my family because that would be very sad. Yes, that certainly would have been very sad. Many people living here weren't so lucky to get out alive. Yeah, I feel really bad for all those people who did lose somebody, lose somebody that they loved. Me too. So are you aware of any services or organizations maybe trying to help with this? Yes. My mom and dad did get triggered by the dart because they got hurt in the typhoon. I'm really glad that they're okay. Also, I saw some other members of dart giving food to those who didn't have any and purifying clean and purifying water so it's clean for drinking. I'm really glad that they're helping us out in our time of need. That's right. Other organizations are also trying to help the Philippines as well by sending care packages and clean resources like food, water, and water, which aren't available here right now. Some of these organizations include Action Against Hunger, Canvoy of Hope, and Medical Team International. I'm glad so many organizations are providing so much support. Me too. I hope they both send whatever they can. After that disaster, we have a lot of rebuilding to do. I don't know if this place will ever be as beautiful as it was before. It just looks like piles of rubble now. Well, hopefully that can change. Well, Alan, it was very nice meeting you and your mother. But it's almost time for me to go. My last question is this. I'm sure many people are watching right now. So if you could say anything to those people right now, what would it be? I would ask everybody to please do whatever they can to get, help us get through this disaster. It doesn't matter if you donate with money or just help people what's going on, like spread awareness. Every little thing helps. And if you think there are better things to do, just think about all the people who don't have a home to live in or a family now. Thank you. I hope you'll help in any way that you can. And what do you think about this? I think that they should, definitely should help because you're going through a very tough time and I know many families will Thank you, Alan and Alexis. So it was very nice to meet some people that have been survivors and have gone through this traumatization of the typhoon. Um, and it's nice to see that people are trying to get back on their feet and trying to rebuild after it has happened. We hope there's no more aftermath, and thank you for letting us interview you guys. You're welcome. Thank you, Kiana. It is good that people are not losing hope, even though this has been a devastating disaster. To those who have lost family members or loved ones, our prayers are with you. As Annalyn and Alexis says, said, every little bit counts, which is true. And to everybody watching this broadcast right now, please either donate money or even just spread awareness about this. That is all for Typhoon Hines information for tonight but more updates will be made soon. Please don't forget to tune in. This has been Dominic Cruz reporting on Channel 6. Good night.